continue to see consolidation in media, right? How significant would this deal be? So if this deal were to happen, it would be very significant. It'd be one of the biggest media deals um, that we've seen in the past few years. As you know, the media industry is undergoing a lot of transformation right now. Consumers are cutting the cord. They're not paying for cable. They're not paying for TV in the way that they did in the past. Everyone wants streaming, and streaming, it costs a lot of money to create that content. And so the idea is, if these two companies were to merge, it would give them some scale. It would give them better ability to compete against the Apples, the Amazons that have unlimited money and are able to put money into streaming and not worry about um, you know, costs the way that a traditional media company has to worry. This is truly an incredible, juicy story. Shut up. Well, of course, you know, end of the year, you know, something's going to pop off uh, as far as big news. You know, some of us that have taken our, started our vacation or our holiday vacation, you know, we, we sit back and we're like, wow, really? Right on vacation time. But hey, listen, it happens. You know, we can't stop the news, uh, can't stop the stories from coming out. But before we go any further, be sure to check out our video on the year review about the streaming wars and cable TV, uh, because part of this, what we're going to talk about today, um, I kind of infused into there. Uh, and this news came out after I've already uploaded that video. So when you watch it, take it at one point and then come back and watch this video. Because some of the things I say there, it's like, wow, I, I almost just about nailed it on it. But if you haven't heard yet, and if you've been under a rock or you're on vacation and you're just not paying attention to the news, Axios broke a story uh, that, uh, you know, in fact, it happened here in New York in Times Square at Paramount's headquarters, a meeting of the minds between uh, Warner Brothers CEO David Zasloff and Paramount Global Bob Bashkin, it looks like there could be a merger in the future for both of these companies. I'm going to make them an offer I can't refuse. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that it, Paramount Plus could be, we could be seeing the end of Paramount Plus and maybe some of its entities in Paramount Global uh, as far as channels. You know, of course, they own Nickelodeon, and VH1, and many different channels on there. You know, because, you know, and, and I said this before, you know, the, the end of cable TV is coming. And a lot of these companies are scrambling to basically, you know, as far as the streaming wars, uh, these companies are now fighting because it, it's, we're getting to a point where, you know, it's, it's survival of the fittest at this time period. And I did say uh, Max happens to be one of the ones I think will end up to be a survivor out there. And I'm pretty much partially uh, right about this. If this deal comes around, because I understand there's a lot to ingest about this. Now, if you want a further deep, because we're not going to go too into this because there's so many parts to it. Uh, check out Midnight, Midnight's Edge and that park place. Both of those channels have done deep dives into this. Uh, that Park Place did one show, live one, where they, they went really into it. Because uh, there's a lot of detail into this deal if it comes uh, to fruition. And the first thing you have to know about this deal is that this is not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow or early 2024. 20, uh, uh, the earliest I could probably predict if it's going to begin is going to be after April of 2024. Probably might not even see it going to 2025 at that point, uh, due to the fact that Warner Brothers is still, um, you know, reading from the tax deals that uh, situations with eight when they absorbed um, Discovery into them and became one company. When Warner Brothers Discovery, you know, AT and T moved out, you know, it's, it's a whole tax thing, and you know they can't do anything else until after April 8th, supposedly. There are many thoughts, especially like Sherry Redstone. Uh, you know, Redstone and her family and her and her company 
are they going to sell off their because they own the large uh, the largest part of Paramount Global. You know, I you know Sherry Redstone's company uh, that they have that amusement firm. Uh, they also have movie theaters. Will that be part of the deal? Would that or that would that be pushed outward and not happen? Because there's a lot going on as far as that. And remember the other elephant in the in the room, uh, BET and a couple of the other local channels. Um, Byron Allen is interested in buying, especially BET, for about three point five billion. I know Paramount has been offering about two billion for it. Uh, Byron Allen just offered three point five. Let's see what Tyler Perry comes up with, and there's a couple of other people that are interested in purchasing those channels. That'll be something separate out of the bag, and probably we will be done uh, before a, a if we see any Warner Brother Paramount deal. Just remember this, you know, as far as what this merger might happen is that if this if this goes forward, CBS would be merging with CNN. And that's also uh, CBS Sports would combine with Discovery Sports, obviously, which would bring March Madness over into single ownership, um, which would be good for the for Max. You could probably throw up uh March Madness games on Max Live, um, or throw it onto Pluto TV Live, because that's the other part of it is that you got Pluto TV. You think Zaslav will get rid of Pluto TV? No, I don't think so. As far as that, Paramount Plus, yeah, I would see it being absorbed into Max, just like what Dis what happened with Discovery Plus or with uh, Discovery. Um, that's a lot of content. Remember, there's also a lot of content, a lot of shows, a lot of uh, uh, stuff in the vault that, you know, older, older shows, older movies, you know, such an extensive library. Now, the only wrench in the works right now, it could be Comcast because supposedly Comcast is looking to possibly go over and grab Warner, but Honestly, I don't see that happening because there's a lot of issues when it comes to that. Because with Comcast, because they're NBC Universal, they would have to do it what Fox did and detach themselves from the NBC part of it. Then you know, would have to get rid of NBC, uh, MSNBC, and all their entities, and as far as that, and keep everything else under the Universal brand name. And that basically would be a separate issue in itself. And for them to get approved with that, with that, and you know Warner merging with with uh, Paramount, I don't see the FTC approving any, if those three are together or um, Universal with uh, Warner. I don't see that coming unless that's attachment. It's going to be a, it's going to be when it comes to the regulate you know, the trade regulators. It, it, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare handling this on paper. You know, plus also you have the channels. You know, you, know, you got Nickelodeon that's in the works on him here too. Uh, would Nickelodeon get absorbed into Cartoon Network with uh, Adult Swim? You know, who knows? I mean, they, this is all up in the air. But, you know, people say, well, why doesn't uh, Paramount absorb Max? Because... They, it, Paramount hasn't been profitable. It, it hasn't really been profitable. Warner is rebuilding. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Warner is still rebuilding. They've already um, cut the fat. You know, a lot of people didn't like that, like what Zaslav did. Uh, a lot of the animation and some of the shows and stuff like that. And, and um, some of it got moved to channels like Tubi TV uh and uh pluto and many others you know any deals that uh, zaslov has done with um streaming other streaming services with with uh warner content but that's what you're supposed to do with that you know if you uh have if you bought a company that had many issues to begin with remember warner wasn't the per perfect company when at&t was running it and they and at&t got it you know in the same direction that basically it wasn't doing that well at that time period now it's rebuilding and getting stronger by the day now it's not perfect as of yet and there's still a lot more to do and a lot more to cut but if they add paramount global to this and sherry redstone sells 
uh, her divi- her her part of the company to Warner. You know, we could see um, a new global giant come out of this. Uh, you know, a survivor of the streaming wars on there. Now, you may say, so what about Skydance? You did mention Skydance in your other video. Skydance would have to buy would have to buy out the Redstone stuff. You know, uh, Sherry Redstone. Um, and then, then we got another situation where you have another complication there. But if, if the Redstone family are inter- interested in selling their shares out, selling their controlling interest, they're going to look for the, be- for the better dollar. They're going to look f- for profit versus just giving it, a, practic- giving it away at a loss. And, you know, they, you know, th- like I said, Paramount has, you know, even though Paramount streaming, you know, is doing okay but it's not been profitable. Max isn't profitable either, but sometime next year, things could change with with Warner Discovery. So in the comments below, tell me, tell me your thoughts about this. This is a little quick video uh, on there because we had to add on while we were away on vacation. Um, Guys, have yourself a Merry Christmas. You know, know, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh, Don't spend the holidays alone. Get with friends, get with family, you know, get out there. You know, if you don't have anyone to go, go find some people, go to a bar, restaurant, something like that, you know, and, you know, and, you know, do continue to check out all of our videos here. Uh, all of our specials are year in review. We have a couple on there that's running after New Year's. So do check it out. And we will be back right after the holidays. Jan, Jan 8 will be back bigger, brighter than ever. So again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. We'll see you on the other side of 2023, which will become 2024. Until then, bye-bye now. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.